Yo, what's poppin' everybody? How y'all doing out there today? Welcome back to the podcast, another episode of Caffeine and Green with your man, Connell Cardenas. And before we get into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of Caffeine and Green, which are Seven Seas Roasting Company and Thorn Street Brewery. Um, Just a little bit about Seven Seas Roasting. They are my home roaster here in San Diego, California. You'll find me there most days. And um, we're just cooking, you know, roasting up some great coffee for y'all. And what's great about having a Seven Seas as my sponsor is that they are able to provide a great code for y'all, which is if you go to the website right now, sevenseasroasting.com, and you put in my code C and G at checkout, you're going to get three bags of coffee for 30 bucks. I mean, that's a no brainer because two bags of coffee are 16 bucks each. That's 32. So you're basically getting a bag for free. So head on over to sevenseasroasting.com and you're going to be able to get our new coffee which is the non kali which has a little bit of dried mango a little uh, butter cookie and some almond or you can get our fifth gear espresso or even our el jaguar which is still a you know a, a you know a crowd favorite if you will so head on over to sevenseasroasting.com get three bags of coffee for 30 bucks by inputting my code c a n d g at checkout and get that deal my guests today are the Brothers Galvez. They are a group that is consists of three members. That's Andre Galvez, Nico Galvez, and my homie Tommy Minai. They are a very talented group that's been uh, jamming for quite some time now, about six years. And this Saturday, they are going to be playing at the Music Box here in San Diego. And they're going to be opening up for another Caffeine and Green alum, it, which is uh, Through the Roots. So shout out to those homies as well. So that's why I wanted to have them, on, have them on the show. And they did a little acoustic set that you're about to hear. It's just one song, but uh, we're going to do it a little different uh, today because they're just so talented. I had to have them, um, you know, play it for everybody who might not get to make it to the show. Just, uh, you know, a little preview of what you might be missing. So without further ado, shout out to my homie Tommy, who's not here tonight, but Andre, Nico, this is your time to shine, homies. Let's go. What's up, everybody? I'm Andre. And I'm Nico. Together we are the, the Brothers Galvez. Galvez. And we are here tonight with Caffeine and Green, and we're jamming for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Lord have mercy. Let's go. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. In the morning time, in the evening time, when the sun don't shine and the mood is right. First verse. First time I saw your face, I knew it was true loving. Although you're a million miles away. Oh, ah. Come take my hand, my love. I'll take you to the promised land. A land where the milk and honey flows. Yeah. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. In the morning time. In the Time when the sun don't shine and the mood is right. Come take my hand, my love. I'll take you to the promised land, a land where the milk and honey flows. Oh, ah, throw away your diamonds and pearls. I'll take you to another world, a world of love and honey. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. Why don't you be my naughty, be my naughty girl? Be my naughty, be my naughty girl. In the morning time, in the evening time, when the sun don't shine and the mood is right. Once again, we are the Brothers Galvez doing a Fiji cover. Shout out to Fiji. We're gonna break it down for you, and it goes something a little like this. Let's go. I la la love to play la la, my la la lo, bunge la la lo, hit feelies, so na na nice, me wanta, ni 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 ni. One more time. I la la love to play la la, my la la lo, bunge la la lo, hit feelies, so 
Brothers Galvez are in the house. Welcome to Caffeine and Green, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> Thank having you. us. Thank yes, you. Yes. We're here. <laughs> Dude, we're already turning up a little bit. I mean, we're we're running pretty late as far as starting the actual podcast because it's supposed to start at 7 o'clock, but it's like 7.40. Sorry, right sorry. No, don't <laughs> apologize because even if you would have showed up, uh, right on time, which you guys didn't show up that late anyways. I don't know why. You, dude, honestly, you were within like a 10-minute <laughs> window. I figure if you show up within a 10-minute window of actual start time, you're still on time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, so, we're, 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 we're always thought to be, uh, you know, when you make a commitment to, to something, if you're even, if you're 15 minutes, not here, 15 minutes prior to the date, uh, the time of, um, confirmation, yeah. mm-hmm. then it's bad. You have to true, be, true. you have to be there before Hawaiian time, yeah. dude, Hawaii, skater time, <laughs> dude, I figure if I'm rolling in like five minutes late to like work, uh-huh. I'm like good. <laughs> 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 my rule is if I make it by 7.05, uh-huh. 7.10, I'm late. If oh, I make man. it there by 7.05, I'm golden. <laughs> Dang. 7.05, I'm, I'm right. Good. What do you mean I'm late? I'm <laughs> right on time. Dude, this is... This is the same time that's, every that's day. That's called 2019. <laughs> They're like, no, true. bro, that's been me since day one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Dude, that's why I fuck with coffee. And I started, everybody at the coffee shop would show up at least five minutes late. Because I swear to God, bro, <laughs> so people, like your start, your shift starts at 530. person would be walking in like 535. I'm like, oh, it's fine. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's good. But, but you're like, like, oh, well, once I take a shot of like, espresso, I'll, I'm going to get everything done anyway. So yeah. it doesn't matter. No, you know what my theory is behind that? Not, we're getting kind of off topic, but just real quick. Okay. My whole, <laughs> my whole, like. <laughs> theory behind that is because coffee is so manual labor mm-hmm. yeah. and so intense and it's and depending on which position you are in the coffee shop could be customer facing so okay. if you add like labor intense with customer facing <sighs> bro pressure five minutes into your day mm-hmm. is a totally difference. fine oh, and oh, okay. you're gonna be you're gonna go balls to the wall when you're in that cafe you can't half-ass it <laughs> oh for sure especially where we work our spice is so small and everybody's yeah. so yeah. intricate yeah. to yeah. our pressure. team yeah you have to be on point yep. so like I don't give a fuck you're five minutes late, but as long as you're coming in tough, like all day, just Handle. give me a, like a, a million percent. Yep. Yo, I'm just Handle. gonna be all golden. You. We're golden. But either way, <laughs> we got ahead of ourselves. But for the people who don't know who you are, I'm gonna introduce y'all. Yeah, yeah. You are the Brothers Galvez, but yeah, more yeah, importantly, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are my homies from back in the fucking yes, day. Yes, we are. Yes. We've been friends for a while. Obi, long Obi days. fucking time. Dude, way no, before, even that, before that. Really? Like, yeah. Dude, Catoctin. At yes. the house on Catoctin. Yes. And we're talking, dude, I'm talking like, I met your brother. Uh, uh, see, I haven't even introduced you yet. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. They're going to rewind that back. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers Galvez. We have Andre Galvez and we have fucking Nico yes, Galvez. Yes, 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 yes. Can you say hello to the world, please? Hi, my name is Andre Galvez. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was good. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. All right, my brothers. Okay, before we get, now that they know who you are, real quick, Nico. So I met your brother, bro. I had to have been nineteen, maybe twenty years old. Yeah, really, dude. Yeah, maybe I was not twenty-one yet because okay. we were hundred percent. We were house partying. Oh, we were house partying, oh, yeah. dude. That maybe. was our Friday nights. Yeah. Okay, 
We had to, somehow we would get beers, mm-hmm. but then it would be fucking yo. I, I remember I, mean, I used could, to roll up to the parties with two forties yeah. talking about I am twenty one. It's 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 not anything different. I mean, like I remember moving up here, and tell I moved. The, tell the people where they're from. Uh, we're from. We're we're from. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're, we're from the big island of Hawaii. We are from born and raised Kalua Kona, uh, a neighborhood called Hillcrest. I know out here, Hillcrest, Wait, Hillcrest out there. A, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it trust has, me, it's it's trust it's with us. It's a uh, it's spelled with an I though. Hillcrest. Oh, Hillcrest. But you print you enunciate it Hillcrest. Yeah. So okay. it, it, when I tell people I'm from Hillcrest in Kona, they're like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah oh special. And I was oh, like, oh, trust me. Part of the fam? It's the total opposite. Yeah. <laughs> there was probably like four, three, four, maybe five uh, um, trap homes. Trap homes. Yeah. Trap homes. Yeah, dude. Yes. We got. Uh, like I'm Gucci Mane the trap. Till this day, man, you go Hard. there. If you're speeding, mm-hmm. let's say there's always kids on the, on the, yeah. on the block. If you speed, there's going to be a Samo- big Samoan, big Hawaiian, <laughs> or Hawaiian. big Filipino dude. It's going to be waiting for you because it's a, it's a circle, right? Yeah. It's a block. When you come back down, there's only one way in, one way out. Mm-hmm. They're going to be waiting for you at the bottom of the hill. And they'd be like, like, you better oh. don't drive up here again going that fucking fast. Yeah. Even cops don't go that fast yeah, in our neighborhood. They they come out they come out of their cars shaky. They're like, where's the owners at? There's like, some crazy fucking no. people <laughs> in our neighborhood. <laughs> fucking super right? well, Hawaii, the, too. And then yeah. you throw Simone and Tonga. And that's not yeah. throwing yeah. shade for everybody who might be listening online. So, <laughs> all, love, all love. I'm just saying, I understand, yeah. bro. I, I've been going there for 10 years. Y'all grew up there. So. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> Jesus. No, but, um, yeah, I mean, when we when I first moved here, I knew Taryn and Jenna. Yeah. And then we got introduced to Steph. Steph Rose. And then that's how I met you. Yeah, bro. Because Steph. Steph is my best okay. friend yes. from Fremont. Yes. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Did you know Steph? No. Oh, I don't dude. Think I you... met him. Uh, no, you, no, Steph, it's girl. The girl, girl, Steph. The she works at um Lamplighter. Oh Still? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah. No, Steph. That's my like probably my best friend from back in the day. Yep. Like we used to go fucking. She would come to my house uh-huh. in Fremont. And be like, you want to go smoke a blunt? <laughs> and I would be like, yeah, let's Hell go smoke yeah, a blunt. And she would come up, and she had this four, uh, uh, like a four by four trailblazer, <laughs> like blacked out, so sick. Had Hell a yeah. fucking speaker in the back. Oh, Jesus. I remember that car. She had it down here. Black she, trailblazer. Yeah, yeah, bro. That yeah, shit I still was. Have it. Dude, I that was the. Sp- dude, I loved riding in her car uh-huh. because of the fact that the bass <laughs> knocked. Like, yo, she didn't <laughs> give a fuck. There'd be the gangsters, but then there was Steph. And Steph would roll up, and you know how she looked, and yeah. it was like, and that's not a negative thing, but like how she looked. Well, yeah. She just rolls up, and then she just fucking boom, so I'm just like get in the car, just like yeah, yeah. Like, yo, the Steph is we my homie. Like, so when when I met you guys, that's when I fell in love with like Keek, E40, oh, too short, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, every yeah, party, I mean. every party that Bay we went area. to, this Shout motherfucker right here, this motherfucker right here, and Steph. We're like ghost riding. They, they're always Dude, like shake face, them dreads. Bro. Do you Just remember when I had my long face. fucking hair? Yeah, Everyone used fuck, to be like, yeah. shake them dreads. And I was like, I don't have dreads. But your hair is long. Bro, just <laughs> shake your... It does like not Jesus matter. Like Jesus Christ had dreads. <laughs> yeah, so shake them. You know what I'm saying? That's Those are the days, I don't got man. none, but I plan on growing some. Uh, imagine all the <laughs> Hebrews going to dump. <laughs> Dance on the top of chariots and turn it tight. One. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That that was that was the fucking days, and I, dude, yeah. I had to be like nineteen twenty. So that okay. puts us at almost fifteen years. That was a long years, time ago, dude. I have a photo, you no beard and just long hair. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck. baby face. I want to say face. my brother told me that like you're one of the first people he ever met when he came he up. Is, here. He, yeah. You are one of the first people. That I met when Imagine. I when I moved here. That's why um, I fuck with you so hard. <laughs> dude, <laughs> you know, it's 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 like you know, it's cliche, but when you vibe with with people mm-hmm. in general no matter how long it is you guys you know you, you get married i uh, i do my stupid shit but when sure. we see each other it's like it's the same you bro, never you no pick up from what. where you got left off exactly, yeah. exactly. and it and it, it 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 only makes the bond stronger when you marry another one of my really good friends yeah, you know exactly. what i'm saying dude, so, I full you. circle full cir- but dude I'm gonna t- I'm gonna bring it back real quick. I remember the first time I met you, Nico. <laughs> you were at the Linda Vista house. Me and Le- Leslie had just started, started dating. dating. Uh-huh. Okay, but uh, like the again, I knew Ulrich, Andre Ulrich, already. Right? The Ulrich Street one. I mean, it not, the, dude, it was behind the Ballast Brunner. Point. 
No, 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 no. It's no, on, um, it's the oh, one where Carl, oh, Carl, Carl yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 we yeah, yeah, we would yeah. work out in the back. Yeah, uh, like, uh, dude, it's not Calusa. No, it's, it's Loretta. Loretta, Loretta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Loretta yes. Street with Loretta the backyard, street. and then yeah. fucking Maddox would jump. Maddox, in. Yep, Maddox Brad. Street. the power outage. Yes, yeah, yeah. The power oh. <laughs> dude, I remember that day. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, you got power? Yeah, we went down. We we went down there, and you guys were all sitting in the dark with a bunch of candles. And I brought, I brought Lucy at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the time, I thought we were watching like a game or something that day. No, dude, we were fucking not doing anything. No, we're just sitting in the fucking living room. (laughs) And then hanging out with each other because we had no power. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And then Brad was like, Brad is actually like, um, hey, bro. Remember you were telling me about uh, popping your pop, your your uh, Lucy's yeah, hamster? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he was, yes. He was like, I don't know. Maddox has been dragging his ass on the carpet a lot uh-huh. lately. Nick, can you bust his fucking bubble or something? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And he I tried outside. to do it. I tried to do it, and he fucking growled at me, dude. <laughs> fucking big ass. You, we all went outside, and we're yeah. like, you can't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I remember it. that. <laughs> he was. Alex was so proud of that moment. He's like, yeah, that's my boy. That's no, my boy. Uh, no, Brad. 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 Yeah, yeah. Dude, Maddox. Yeah. So for people who don't know, obviously, I mean, shit. I, some of our homies probably don't know about this. <laughs> but Leslie, when I first started dating her, Leslie's my wife for listeners around the world listening. <laughs> she <laughs> fucking uh, used to live with two guys, Brad yes. and Carl, Carl Lamb. Yes. And Brad, uh, fuck, what's his last name? Brad Farnham. Farnham. That's why yes! I said Alex. That's why I said Alex. <laughs> Dude, Brad Farnham. Yeah. And um, we, I used to, that's where I used to see Leslie was I would yes. go see her because she had a room in that house. Yeah. And that's where that whole that whole power yep, outage yep. thing happened. <laughs> but that, anyways, back to the other thing was that the first time I met you, bro, like you must have been here maybe first day, no, first literally, week. yeah, literally within the first week. You showed up. You had hella long hair, yeah. huh? Hella long hair, and there was a bench in the backyard. Remember that? Yeah. You guys would come over and, and work, work out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, fucking jail workouts. Dude, talk <laughs> yeah. about. I mean, if you didn't know the crew uh-huh. as an outsider, not from Hawaii, uh-huh. and definitely didn't like didn't grow up with any of you yeah. guys, but I knew you at this point yeah. for sure, and Carl. Uh, Talk about just intimidating. Like you got two big ass Hawaiians coming into the house. Like, hey, we're gonna go work out in your backyard. Like, all right, cool. And then you got like two more guys, and then me, and then one chick. Yeah, just, that's it. Yeah. Like, so ridiculous. What but the you, going on? you came in, and uh, Andre was like, "This is my kid brother. We're gonna go in the back and work out." And, was, and you didn't say dick, bro. You just tight lip. Did hi. He's always been like that. Dude. Like he he doesn't he doesn't speak much, okay, you know, yeah. until he's comfortable. But yeah, I was gonna say every time I see you now, you're just fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. chatter box. <laughs> he's comfortable. He's comfortable. Yeah. San Diego got me all warmed up. Dude, I seen you walk through the bar at bar one and everybody fucking knew you. Talk about us. Mr. Aloha, bro. Yeah, like, right. Fuck. Yes. Yo. So he uh my brother, he he's worked at a few bars even before he was twenty one. I got him a job at uh, the local. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was dating this girl at the time when it first opened, and she was like, I can get him a job. Is he 21? I was like, no, he's fucking 18. Yeah. Damn. Got him a job. So he's been bartending like. Only like five years. Five or right, f- but, six years. Wait, how old are you now, Nico? 26. Fuck. You've yeah. been here that long, yeah, bro? Yeah, Eight years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I had turned 20, or I had, I had turned 19 on like the day I was leaving. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, and I came here and I was like, "Holy shit!" But he no no um formal training, no nothing. Just went in as a bar back. Bar back. Yeah. yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Straight Led to, you know, I mean, friends hooking friends up with jobs. You know, he worked with Drewski. LAD. LAD. Uh, yeah. At homie. Puerta La Boca. In, yeah. in, in, shout uh, out. Drinking, shout drinking out. Drinking ca- ca- cafe y fernet. <laughs> <laughs> fernet and coffee. No it's bueno, the goods. amigos. It's the goods. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, and then he got a job at uh, the local. I mean, at the local uh, bar one because bar one. Uh, yeah. he worked with uh, well, that was Alicia. Leah, with Leah, yes. Leah. and then but Alicia, Alicia, it, who is uh, one of the owners of bar one. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, worked with him at the local as well. Um, and you know, uh, she's been my friend for you Forever. know a long time as well, mm-hmm. and as as well as Leah, and as well as um, Gianna, her mm-hmm. uh, Le- um, her elder Alicia's sister. older sister. Okay, and I mean. Great family, beautiful family. They take care of my brother, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you yeah, know, that's what I'm looking sad. out for. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, real quick, <clears throat> I we honestly can go on, and I know we will, but... <laughs> spider, <laughs> spider web. Dude. 
<laughs> I can't even good, like, I can't even right now, bro. It like, just feels good. It just feels good to talk. You know dude, what I mean? we having this like tasty ass fucking beer. Uh, the uh, the barrio, barrio lager. Yes, the barrio lager. So fucking crushable. So Shout crushable. out to uh brother. What, what's his name again? Dennis O'Connor. Dennis, Dennis O'Connor. Yeah, the fucking homie. Hey. Mahalo, salamat, my brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is my favorite beer. Thorn Street. Thorn Street Thorn Brewing day. is smash. That's what it is. Show. That's what it is. That's what's good. But before, I really wanted to talk about why I wanted to have you guys on the show. And I, dude, honestly, for as long as I've known both of you, motherfucker, <laughs> fifteen, like going on fifteen years, eight years, because I met you pretty much mm-hmm. in the first week. Yep. I was having a difficult time getting you guys to commit to doing the show. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, come I know, on, dude. No, but, it wasn't. It, it. I mean, you know, not now that we're uh, adults. Yeah, you know, um, it, it, all of us have different. It's crazy. My brother, as a bartender, you know, he he comes a night owl, working one or two in the yeah. morning. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. work morning to afternoon, and then Tommy, same way with me. So Tommy, that's okay. Before we get into that, like. Tommy Minai is the third member of Brothers Goblin. Yes, yes sir. The band that you guys are. Th- I don't even think we covered that here in the <laughs> band. Dude. Okay. Brothers Galvez. Yeah. That's why I wanted to have you on the show. See. Si. Tommy Minai, who's not here tonight, guys, he was the third person and he's another he's the third member mm-hmm. in your band. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, so you guys all live together. No. 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 Never. We've never we pretty lived. Pretty much practically on the weekends. He comes over. I mean, <laughs> he comes back hungover or drunk or whatever <laughs> he spends a night on the couch but. so it all started um years ago when um uh, moonshine beach was actually still typhoon saloon typhoon saloon um tommy would jam and obviously i i played with high roots yeah right? yeah 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 and, yeah, uh, yeah 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 everything started slowing Fuck. down with high roots yeah yes and then he was like dude we should jam like let's just this um you know try to get some bars if they need mm-hmm. live music mm-hmm. and um obviously my brother and i would play music at home Mm-hmm. Um, and then Tommy was like, we should, you know, if we can make extra cash or, you know what I mean? Right. This and that. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's do it. He played the bass. I sang, my brother, um, played the guitar. guitar. And then it was just domino effect, snowball effect. Wait, from that long ago? L- I mean, I want to say it's like six years six ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know it was that long. Yeah, a long wow. time ago. Okay. I mean, it, it literally started from oh we should uh see if we can get any um gigs at bars and mm-hmm. bars you know like people were walking by oh my god we just heard you from um tavern and you know instead of going to tavern we <laughs> just decided to walk into a typhoon yeah. saloon Dude, to yeah. hey i'm getting married do you want to play at my wedding right. what mm-hmm. yes I am Dr. Green Thumb <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, whatever you need <laughs> But now, and um, we've been friends, obviously, with um, the Through the Roots boys, Brady, yep. Evan, Taylor, yeah. Korek. Yes. Um, Brady. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I want to have you on the show. You guys, <laughs> I've been I've been pursuing you guys since early September. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'll just no, fucking tell you. Yes. August, September. <laughs> yeah, he, he tried to contact us, but... We, we kind of have you to, guys were dodging uh, me, bro. I feel oh. like, no, not dodging me, but like you feel me. I, I talked to Andre and he's like, let me talk to the boys. And then I would run into Nico. I'm like, hey, you want to do my podcast? He's like, let me talk to the boys. And then he's like, but he's like, I'd do it. You said the same thing. And then I seen Tommy. I was like, hey, what's up? Like, you want to do my show? <laughs> he's like, well, if the boys say, yeah, I was like, I'm down. I'm like, I got verbal confirmation <laughs> from, from all three of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. It's a, uh, for it's me, like, it's I can't I don't decide on my own, you know, learning. You yeah. know, touring and playing music with High Roots for eight, nine years, mm-hmm. you know, um, it's it's a family thing. It's a team it's a thing. Yeah. yeah. It's if, if, yeah. If, if one person in the team doesn't vibe, it's just not going to work. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I needed confirmation from my brother and as well as Tommy, my other brother. I'm like, you guys want to do it? And once we all confirm then we're like we're gonna do it. because i don't want to be like fuck yeah i'm down and then me show up by myself you know what i but mean that's what's so funny is that i, I was telling leslie i was all i got verbal confirmation literally from, from three. all three of them <laughs> but i think you still planned like, this shit <laughs> <laughs> i swear uh, to god and then i finally have to hit up andre i'm like okay you guys ready like good 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 let's do this <laughs> and I, but i even though i've been i pursue i've been pursuing you before the through the roots podcast that i did mm-hmm. with them 
And then after it, I told Brady and Evan, I was like, I'm going to get them on the show, (laughs) (laughs) but it's going to take some time. And it did, but here we are. I'm flattered. And as long as it happened before the show, that's all that mattered to me. And it's uh, November 2nd is Saturday. Saturday. uh, And you guys are opening for Through the Roots. Yes, we are. So it's, um, shout out to, uh, Sideways Music. Sideways. They're uh, a brand new, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure a newer group. Adopted by a Law Records. Law Records. Oh, um, but Paul. Yeah, Paul. Oh, mm-hmm. see. This is coming. To Paul Full circle, dude. My other Full brother. Full circle. Super sick. Super um, sick. They are opening the show. Um, Grant oh. and the boys. Grant is uh, a t- part of the t- uh, Through Wait, the Roots you team. you are not opening the show. You we are, are not. like, you're... Oh shit, yeah. son! I that thought you guys were co-support. No, the thing is already wet, but we're gonna slide in. Already- <laughs> <laughs> Stop Jesus. it, right? Now. Bro, no, I can't so you just said that. <laughs> we, we are uh, PG? second. No, it's, it's raw. Is it's raw. Okay. Fuck. We are uh, Sorry for the all second. The kids that follow caffeine and green. The second group. Uh, we are technically opening for Pacific Dub. Solid Bradas. Yeah, yeah. We played yeah. with them before. Um, and yes. then Through the Roots is obviously headlining. We have been um, invited to jam with the boys for about three, three or four years now. Um, around this time, like around Thanksgiving time, they mm. always have a show. And they're, they always invite us to play with them. Yep. Through and the Roots? Through the Roots. Sick. And only, only one time we had to say no just because... The the our first schedules were off. yeah and the our schedules were off but the first show we did yeah. I felt like we just smashed it yeah and I was like yeah. I don't want to put on a bad Excuse show me. on on our behalf as well as the the boys' behalf I don't want to put on a a bad set you know what I mean yeah and um because you're fucking talented bro thank I mean, you sir. I mean thank for you. anybody who's gonna be listening to this and not have any visual they did an amazing set right before thank we you, started man. this they did two songs. Straight up acoustic in my house, <laughs> and it was fucking angelic. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, yo. I check the Instagram right now if you see this. Check it, go check it. Yo, yo check the Instagram. Go check them. Go check them. Go check them. Go. But honestly, like I, I fully respect what you're saying right there because, dude, I didn't, I haven't seen you play, Nico. But damn, I knew you can. I mean, bro, I've seen you play since I was like 19. My <laughs> brother's t- more talented than bro, I am. No. But you sing right just as good, and you play the guitar. Yes. But bro, I seen you performing since. Shit, I think I seen you performing before I even lived here. So I was like 18. Yeah. And I heard you singing, yeah. and I hear you singing in my house. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> hasn't changed. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, on the real. So yeah, so you're coming with this correct show. Um, you're not even opening. Fuck yeah. Yes. That's amazing. That makes me so much more excited. You know, I, I'm going to tell you uh, on, on a side note, it's being a musician for as long as I have been. Um, one thing that the miss, miss, what, what, uh, Cons- misconstrued, I don't want misconception. a misconception of, uh, opening up the, the show. To be honest, I love opening up the show because it's the momentum. It's, maker. It, you know, like you're setting the vibe. I'm going to smash it. Mm. So to be after me, you better be fucking ready, my guy. You're gonna get the slops. You gotta come correct. You I'm gonna come. smash. It is, yeah. You know. Yeah. So like, <laughs> it's already wet. No, <laughs> no, no, like no negative vibe about you know opening up the show. I feel like it, there's a lot of pressure because you are first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it is a blessing to be like you know in the industry. They're like, oh, you're not opening the show. Damn, you yeah, stepping up, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, honestly for me. Uh, you can even ask this guy, this guy. I'm like, I love opening up the show yeah. because I, we, uh, my thing is, we're gonna do the show. We're gonna fucking smash it. Exactly. Good See? luck to. I'm like, no offense. Good luck to everybody else after me because yeah. I'm gonna fucking smash this Boy, right man. now. Hundred <laughs> percent. Shit, man. Yo, that's what it is though. That's. Bro, I remember seeing you perform at like World Beat Center. Yes, ah. When the, that existed, is it not? It's there still no more? Still. Is that the one downtown off of like Fourth? No, it's Balboa Park, Balboa bro. Park. The ballpark. Oh, bro. Yeah, it's like that circular building with yeah. all the paintings by the zoo. Oh, yeah, okay, see, okay, see, see, okay. See, see, see. Yep. So we've performed there many times with uh, Tribal th- uh, Tribal Seeds. Okay. Tribal Jeez. Seeds. We've performed there with um, um, Ika Mouse. <laughs> Ika Mouse? Yes. Mm-hmm. Bro, I used to bump that shit. I remember coming down on like Thursday nights. That's when my weekend would start. And I would fucking drive down Thursday and I would be here Friday or Thursday night, Friday. Saturday, go back for my shift on Sunday morning. You would have to, yeah, <laughs> dude. Travel. I would go 
all in when they were like, yo, there's a hybrid <laughs> show. I remember getting the disc and it was red. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, I don't remember the song, but I just remember it's coming from the 808. <laughs> yeah. Driving by the titties. You know where the titties yep. up on mm-hmm. the I'd be going San back Clemente. To, yep, going yeah. back to LA. Uh-huh. And I just like hear that shit. I'm like, oh, this is the right here. All right, all right. Fucking high roots. Dude. That was when we switched up our style when we brought in flow. It's just flow. Um Dude, that's why I fucking tripped out when I when I started becoming like actual friends with Sysflow because I was like, dude, I've known Sysflow since probably around the time yeah. I met you, mm-hmm. which trips me the fuck out. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I think when I when I first met him, he was still going to school in Oregon, I believe, somewhere. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh, he went to school with Carl and fucking Brad. That's how they all knew him. It was yeah, uh, Oregon. It was in Oregon, but it wasn't like one of Oregon. State not a bigger state. U-O. No, it not, was, not a bigger um, school. I forgot what it was, sorry. but he was doing his own thing. Like Loyola? No. No. It was something like that. Gonzaga? No, 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 no. no, no. It's smaller. It was oh, a small smaller. school. Yeah. But he, he was doing his own thing. He was um, making music, but we were making music as well, but as more like a, you know, like your island reggae style, like, mm-hmm. you know, slower Bobby music. Debbie. More the fucking the Fiji. <laughs> and then as soon as we adopted or you brought him in, it was like boom, game changer. You know, Dude, people sis- he he stepped it up. He was like, you know, people looked at us like, okay, we can tour with this. Yeah. You know, and he had axe. Tour. Yeah. He had Buck. Axe on axe on Uncle the axe. Buck. Yep. Buck on the keys. Paul, 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 Paul on the, the bass. The yeah, bass. Kevin, Kevin on Kev guitar, Bong. right? Kevin Bong. was not when we toured, he was not with us anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he he went his his own way. He found his 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 home, and he you know started jamming his own music. Did you? Yeah, you because you you guys did a world tour, uh, not a world tour, but a domestic nationwide. Tour. Yeah, yeah, nationwide. nationwide. Dude, and on it was like on MySpace even at that time. Yep. <laughs> you, uh, I remember Sisflo pretended like to get arrested in New York City. Yes, that was. It was, was that his really? sister or yeah. some That's shit. No, uh, uh, I I think they set it up. They they because I got mad, you know because. As as the uh, as the lead vocals, I was like, you have to you know keep the the group in check, kind of you know. What I mean, I don't want to sound like a fucking a dad, but they texted the group text. We had a group text, and they're like, "Dude, I, uh, Flo just got arrested." I was like, "What the?" F-? You know, it's like snapping in kind New of. York, yeah, yeah, yeah. In New York, yeah. In New York, um, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it was nah, like, nah, that nah, was just a joke. <laughs> like, they, I guess they talked, they spoke to some uh, officers, and okay. they just played, played a, played a prank on everybody. Because they have zero tolerance out there. Oh bro. yeah, you know, you know, you know wherever you're going with Sysflow, that fool's right. fucking going. You know, like you know, you feel. I'm pretty sure I was like eating like out with my cousins, eating fucking pizza, looking at the New York Empire State Building. Yeah, yeah, just you know, I was there. It was, it was a dream come true. Like I remember telling my parents I was oh, gonna do that, and my mom was at the time was like, "Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing?" And I was like, oh, "I gotta do this." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I was at, I was in architecture school at the time, mm-hmm. and I was like, "I I just I want to do it, experience it," you know. And it was a dream come true. I mean, it let me it allowed me to see a lot of the states in the United States, and it's, it's amazing, beautiful, Dude, fuck yeah, it's amazing. I love the country, bro. Oh, all yeah. of it, all of it, Midwest, fuck, we got East everything. Coast, wherever. I'm gonna yeah, tell you this it. right now. I'm gonna tell you this States right now. States all day. It's <laughs> it it doesn't get enough credit as it should. You know, people are like people who want to get married or was like, oh, I want to go to someplace. I want to have a destination wedding. Yeah. I want to go to a, Thailand, Thailand, Fiji, Hawaii, and all this. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen was when we were coming back from the East Coast. So we when we went. Um, towards the east coast mm-hmm. we started from california went towards the the southern part of the united states okay texas um, texas uh florida and then Tennessee, we went to see up there yes like dirty south Louisiana. yes oh. so yes we did okay. we actually went there bama bama we we drove bama. through it yep. yeah. bama. we hit the east coast went up went up the coast and then went across the top one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life man yeah. Amazing. So it's diverse country. It's beautiful. Well, well, the people are, dude. Honestly, the southern hospitality thing is a real thing. It's yeah, real. Oh, for they sure. fucking for real. I, I fucking love the people in the south. Honest, hella oh, yeah. polite. 
just super nice. Trying to they feed don't give you. A fuck. Yeah, yeah, Hawaii style. Like, yo, kind of Hawaii style. Yeah, super you're Hawaii thin, style. Bro. Yeah, you look a little thing. You need an yeah. extra piece of cornbread? Like, nah, I'm so full. They're like, nah, you, <laughs> eat, no, you more. Need to eat some more. <laughs> you need to eat some more. Did you get did, the day that the, 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 you go into a spot and the, did you get the chicken? Like, <laughs> nah, I got the cornbread. Like, oh, you need to go get the chicken. Which chicken? The white pepper sauce with a little bit of honey. Yeah, that yeah, one right sure, there. For sure. I don't it's know very. Why I turn to that Texas every time. But it's very. It's it's very similar to Hawaii. Like. You know, very caring. You know, they yeah. care. You know, yeah. as well, long as you have that family, you have that family unit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Before we get it too farther, but that right there, that I feel like that might be a good segue is that you guys both grew up in the Philippines, uh, before Hawaii. Yes. My brother. Oh, so I you did grew like up in Hawaii? A, I I did maybe close to like a year. A year. Yeah. But so. you were born in the Philippines. No, no we, were we were born. Both in, born in all Hawaii. of us were born in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. So, oh. Yeah. So this is a story. It all began with um. Uh, this is a crazy back in Sorry. the day. Uh, so m- our great grandparents were some of the first immigrants. Uh, uh, immigrant workers mm-hmm. brought to Hawaii to work on the sugarcane fields brought. So against their will or, um, you know what? For I new, don't know that new, okay. new, new, uh, I don't know. New life, you know, like right to yeah. change, like a, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what Leslie's dad or grandfather. did. Exactly. Yeah. Same, yeah. same, same, same thing. Right. Yeah. Um, same, same. Like it, the, the the coffee coffee fields, coffee, um, sugar cane, sugar cane sugar pineapple, sugar cane yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There there are a lot of um, immigrant workers brought to Hawaii, and our great grandmother was hundred percent Portuguese, yep. and our great grandfather was hundred percent Pinoy Filipino. Yeah. From the from the Ilo, Ilos, yeah, Ilos, like Ilocos the north, Norte? Yeah, yes, like the Ilocos northern, Norte. Yeah. Are you exactly. serious? Yep. Yeah. that's where her grandfather's from. Yep. Yeah, Ilocos I'm sh- Norte. I'm sh- a lot I of mean, them. Yeah. Holy shit. And so they had a family. <laughs> they had a family. Um, brought them back to the Philippines. And then uh, when my them up. grandfather, uh, Isidro, and my gra- my grandmother, uh, Erlinda, had a family, that obviously the hope, hope and dreams were to Bring b- back. come back to Hawaii yeah. and raise a family. Shits. My mom came back to Hawaii when she was about 15, I believe, is the story. Grew up in Hawaii. Never went to school, though. Just started working. Yeah. Right? She okay. went back to the Philippines. Back nut farm, like fields. Uh, I think she was just in the. Cane, stuff like the, that. I think in the By hotel. this time, it was like hotel. Hotel like industry. Little okay. trinket shops. Yeah, yeah. KTA. Yeah. She, oh, she worked at KTA yeah. for yeah. many yeah. years. Chocolate yeah. mochi. Yeah. Yeah. All taste <laughs> it. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Bees, you better watch out. Dude, pickled garlic. Pickled oh, garlic. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Dude, with the Jam- sesame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't even get me started. Sorry. No, no, it's all good. So she she goes back to the Philippines to visit, mm-hmm. and that's where she met my dad. And um, our lo- dad was da- at the time. Our dad was dating my mom's sister's best friend's friend. Wait, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm fucking something like that. Something my mom's my yeah. mom's sister's boyfriend's best friend at the time it was like a homie yeah mm. and yeah, it's uh, a homie. uncle romy was dating our auntie maggie yeah and then well basically my mo- my mom went back to the philippines mm. visit okay. and she came back found out she was pregnant oh. yeah so i was what is it consummated yeah. i was i was created in the philippines yep but I was born in Hawaii, mm-hmm. right? Oh, so I was a was first you. child. I was a first child, right? Yo. And when my dad, my mom was like, ah, I just had your baby. And my dad was like, um, That's not mine. I don't think so. Yeah. And so she physically brought me to the Philippines, left me there for the first six, almost seven years of my life. Wait, you're, wait so your dad accepted you then? I mean, when she left me. My grandma, I, the story is my grandma was like, oh, yeah, that's my, that's my grandkind. Yeah, my, 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 mom, my mom brought my brother to our grandmother on my dad's side and was like, yeah, no, this is your baby. Yeah. yeah. Right. As soon as she saw him, my brother, she was like, yeah, that's your kid. He's and like, so, All right. she, yeah, she <laughs> left me there. Um, you know, like you take care of him. I'll send you money. Uh, when he's old enough, I'll pick him up. So that's what I'll, your mom said, yeah, damn. Yeah. So when, Gangster. when, when I was about six turning seven, she was like, well, he's ready to fucking go back, you know, with me, go to get mm-hmm. some education. Picked me up, um, brought me back to Hawaii, and she was like, "Well, you can come with me." And I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Did they you had a even relationship. Know her at this point, honestly, like, you- there was no FaceTime, there was no Instagram, there was no social media. All I knew was talking to her maybe once or twice a week. 
So I knew her voice. So you knew her voice. Yes. When you met her, you were like, when oh, I, when I first met her again, I was like, whoa, that's my mom. You know, she bought me fucking new Jordans, new Nikes, mm -hmm. new clothes. I was a cool kid on the block. Did you feel Did you, did you feel that? I think I did, but I don't know. Just because, mm. you know, I was just told that she was my mom. Okay. I didn't know who my mom, I mean, you know, five, six years. Physically. Yeah. Physically. Yeah, yeah, five yeah, or six yeah. years apart from my mom. I was like, shit, I don't know who this lady is. <laughs> and then, you know, I mean, obviously I, I learned to, you know, love yeah, my mom moms. again. Yeah, your right. mom's yeah. dukes. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. And then, so my brother was created, born, and mm. then I think the whole concept was send your kids to the Philippines so that they can learn their culture. Their culture, yeah. Their roots, you know. Learn the language. And then when they're old enough, bring them back to go to school. So did both of you speak Tagalog? I, sp Conte. I probably speak Hello. more than my brother. I used to speak two different dialects. So my dad and my mom actually speak two different dialects. Yeah, there's the Leslie's mom or my mother-in-law. Yeah, 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 Ilocano yeah. and Tagalog. Tagalog. She can do both. Yeah. yeah. So my, my mom's is Ilocano, but she didn't speak it. But she spoke Tagalog. Mm -hmm. And my dad speaks Tagalog and a, a, a dialect called Kapangpangan. Kapangpangan? Kapangpangan. <laughs> okay. Kapangpangan is, is what they say is the, the culinary, culinary capital of the Philippines. It's where the best food, they say is the best food. And I mean, I can't argue with that. It's pretty yeah. bomb. It's, it's pretty, pretty bomb. Yeah. Is it like, uh, and this might sound stupid, but and when you when you start going into that area of mm -hmm. like special like specialty coffee specialty mm -hmm. food all that stuff like or um mm -hmm. the chefs and stuff would you say it's more of the um uh elevated cuisine if you will over there or is it like elevated uh synagogue or like, synagogue uh, like yeah. synagogue yeah. and other types of i uh, think they they just traditional dishes they just take everything to another level yeah it's it, and the thing is it's not even about it being fancy there's no fancy restaurants there's no fancies in the philippines if you go to the if you go to manila where you know obviously the famous people yeah, live yeah, yeah. you can see some fancy restaurants and stuff no. like that but if you want bomb food go to pampanga yeah Pong fire Pong. yeah why so what what separates it I think I I mean I think it's the passion maybe the the it's ingredients the love, the love yeah all right. the love yeah like they're very proud of being they're kind of like central and desolate in terms of like like where they're located geographically they're like north east of Manila yeah so they're kind of far from the city and when you go there you're going onto like it's dirt crazy. narrow roads like it's crazy once you get to the town there's like I mean not horses but water buffalo. water buffalo yeah. There's Whoa. people who fight cocks, you know, yeah. freaking they're walking around and, yeah. like yeah. with the chickens in their arms. That's what I tell my friends all the time. When, when we go to the Philippines, we literally, literally, we wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, watch traffic. <laughs> we literally just smoke watch cigarettes, traffic. cigarettes. Like whatever we're trying to do to kill time. Bro. Just smoke cigarettes. Smoke and cigarettes. Dude, it's watch traffic. Weird. It's, it's crazy. The, it, it's so behind time yeah. <laughs> but the thing it's, is if you want to learn about yourself if you want to get humbled oh, yeah, 100%. go to the philippines yeah. you wow. will learn so much about yourself this is they, they they like come up with like superstition and like shit like it's that crazy. to make you know your your imagination just like expand yeah because you're you're so you're, you're just stuck you're just in this in area a little you know? area yeah. where you have nothing i never remember growing up there i remember when uh, mount pinatubo which is the the volcano of the philippines okay I remember growing up there and we had all these streams and rivers mm -hmm. and lakes mm -hmm. that we could swim in. When that volcano erupted, I was there. There was um ashes Ash. ashes coming yeah. down from the sky. It was like snowing, but it was like taking down the homes because yeah. it would like you know how cement. I, yeah, well kind it's of it's ash from the lava. Yes. Yeah. So it would it's pile super up hot. Yes. Yeah. It would pile up on houses, bring, bring them down, it, yeah. right? And then wow. after the Mount Pinatubo erupted, all the rivers and streams gone, dried up, covered in in ash, obviously. Yeah. Whoa. Like solidified it. Dude, that's fucking heavy. So you you experienced this. You also, Nico, you were there as well. Did you did you spend your five, six years in <clears throat> Philippines as well? No. I when I was born, apparently my mom and my dad say, uh, when I was born, they tried to send me to the Philippines and I only could last or my mom said I only lasted a year out there because she missed me so much. She brought me back. Yeah. 
Oh, she's like, you were, are you the baby? I'm no. the middle child. I'm a so middle child. You're a middle I'm a child. Middle, yes. middle child. Yeah. Wait, who's the baby? So we, we have, have a we have a baby sister. Her name is Shania. Have I not met her? No. No. Oh, what? Yeah. She's the only girl. She's the boss. Yeah. She's the boss she's, out of she's us. She's boss. <laughs> and she's even, capital B. She, yeah. she actually um <laughs> she lasted shorter than my brother. Yeah. I like think she was there months. for like six months. Yeah. And my mom was like, I can't do this. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. So she was there for like six months. Um. All of this happening with on my dad's side, mm-hmm. my dad's um, uh, father Ray, and my grandmother, my dad's mom yeah. Juanita. Oh, yeah. I like that yeah. Juanita, 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 Juanita Raymundo. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Juanita. Raimundo. it's a Filipino or she's Mexican? No, nah. they're Filipinos. <laughs> no. They're the they're no. the Mexicans of the East. It's pretty Dude. much the same thing. Dude, we were pretty much Juanita conquered, yeah. Raimundo. Yep, I love that yep. name. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Juanita Raimundo all day. Hey, every Sunday she would fucking wake us up to go to church. Like we're I don't know. We we're playing all day the other the day before. Like we didn't go <laughs> to bed weekend. till late. Yeah. But we're getting forced to get up at like four thirty AM. Oh. You better go to church. Grandma was a brush your teeth. Hardcore Roman Catholic. Yeah. So the story is oh, my dad was supposed shit. to be he the, my dad was the youngest of ten. He ten? was ten. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My dad was supposed to be a priest. Supposed to be the pastor. He was supposed your to be pops? A, yeah. my your dad, pops. the holy Damn. man. Yeah. But it did. It did. Obviously, it didn't happen. But my grandma was hardcore Roman Catholic, mm-hmm. and um, every Sunday, get up. So uh, I think the older we got, the more time we spent at the church. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the first gigs I got. You know, um, I when I when living in in uh, Hawaii, I was uh, well, I started singing in the choir with my grandma. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. All dressed up in white, mm-hmm. and the, you know the wooden cross, the altar, boy, altar, altar boy, altar boy, communion, yeah. all that I'm, stuff. Dude, Hold I was bread. raised Catholic, bro. Mexican, same thing. That's yep. why we say very, like, Mexican, very bro. similar, <laughs> very similar. Mexican right here. That's we're fucking raised Catholicism. Yep, that's what it is. One hundred percent. I was like one of my. I think I'm the only cousin who wasn't baptized though. Really, oh, bro? Yeah, I was like not having it. I was. <laughs> They could not get me to go in to the church. Water, bro. Yeah. yeah, I was I was at the church just sitting like that, like this. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'll, but see, it's it's weird though. If I would have been my parents, I would have just started sending me to church with grandma. Right. Because if grandma told me to go, listen, oh shit, I'll fucking yeah. go. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. It, dude, and still to this day, I mm-hmm. see my grandma. She's Whatever the she only says. one who makes me cry, yeah. dude. I hard as I'll try to be tough as yeah. fuck. I see my grandma and. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Whatever they say, right? Like, whatever do whatever say. grandma says. Yeah. Like, yo, I don't do give it. a fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I, she says jump. I'm like, grandma, how high? You want me to jump <laughs> higher? Like, and I go to church with grandma, and she just sit there. She's like, you gotta be quiet. I'm yeah. like, all right, grandma. Yeah. That's how. <laughs> I don't know why, bro. It it was it. I I appreciate that though. Yeah. I mean, it, they're definitely more crazy. My grandma used to be like, ah, yo, Samuel. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that really meant at the time, and, but <laughs> at. I knew when she said that it wasn't good. It's not good. If grandma busted out the belt, I remember my grandma oh, yeah. back in the day when she's probably like, I don't know, she had to have been like 60 at this point, but I remember when she bust out the belt and my dad and my, and my mom would give her full range to fucking just like <laughs> smash on me. Essentially. She would be like, I'm going to tell your daddy. <laughs> like, no, grandma, don't tell daddy. Don't, <laughs> don't tell him. Don't yeah. tell him. Like, yo, no, 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 yeah. no, no. But, uh, I, I love that. I love that you guys had that kind of that same. Oh yeah, we are vibe. we are very family oriented. That's that's, that's biggest one. The if not the biggest, if not the biggest thing is is, is family. It's very uh, we're very close. We're very close. So when I have a kind of like a two part question, okay, <clears throat> and we can revisit it whichever. You said you were in the choir, mm-hmm. Andre. So that's when I'm assuming you started singing. But I want to ask what influenced you both to start singing and playing music? And then the second part of that question, obviously you guys coming together. So actually I started singing. Music has been in our family for generations. For generations. Yeah. Our last name of Galvez in Pampanga is actually really big. Big. Okay. Um, the, Rolling deep. Uh, yeah. So our grandfather was part of their family band. Um, it's like a our last friggin' name. 14, 15 piece band. It was yeah. huge. They just played music. Our last our name are, is musicians in Pampanga. So when I was growing up, actually, living in the Philippines, they would make me smash the bottle caps. Bottle caps. 
Of like beer bottles? But yeah. Beer bottle okay. caps. Or Smash like them coke. until they're flat, right? Until they're flat. You poke a hole in the middle of it and you take a wire and you string like mm-hmm. about 50 of them yeah. and it becomes a tambourine. Like a tambourine. Keep the freaking melody yeah. going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. So what we would do for money is go to houses and sing carols. What, what, what was it called? What would they call it? Christmas car- uh, no, I, they Christmas have a, curling. They have a, the name for it though. I forgot. I don't it was know. It's almost like you're begging. Kind of like it, I felt like it was begging. Every time hey, we'd go to a house, I'd you be would like, force a service basically. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You'd knock would, on the door and you start singing when they come out and yeah. then they would give you, you know, whatever couple, Like some change. Yeah, whatever. Kind of like, kinda like when you're in traffic, someone comes up to your window, cleans your window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You're like, or oh, if you're on shit. a bar train or a subway, yeah, there's exactly. like street performers. Yep. 100%. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So that for me, that was my first um, memory of music. And yeah. growing up, we were told that we're from music, um, you know, come from music, music, musically inclined family. Okay. And so when we were growing up, I mean, musically gifted family. Um, <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, we, you know, as a f- growing up in a fa- uh, Filipino family, we always had the latest karaoke machine. Si, si. So we would. It was always like you need to you need to practice because the next time we visit, you have to sing. You know. <laughs> So I would always have to sing, and then the you know as my brother grew up, um, they my my up. dad we always was up. like to tell my grandfather yeah. teach teach my kids to play the guitar because my grandpa played mm-hmm. the guitar. I remember when I first moved, I was like, every song when I come back, every song you learn, I'll give you a hundred bucks. That's what your pop said. No, that's what I told my brother. Oh shit! Remember when you we bought? Yeah, remember when we first bought your your Honer? Yeah, and we bought you that small amp. Amp. Yeah. From um, Melakai Music. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That was the only mu- music in fucking Hawaii. first in, in music Kona. shop. In yeah, Kona. In Kona. Like Melakai Music. Melakai Music. And I was like, every song you learn, I'll give you a hundred bucks. And I, I mean, obviously, like we, I, I tell people that we were kind of forced to play music. Yeah. Um, that's not the case. But at the same time, it was like, I think for me, it made my parents proud that. You know, we did something that yeah. they were like, you should do this. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. You know, and we grew up singing like we, w- we would get drunk with our parents and sing karaoke. Yeah. So I think. Dude, that's a set. Yeah. 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 I know the Filipino culture <laughs> and I know how they love <laughs> karaoke, bro. Jeez. Like, yo, shout out to all the Benignos. Hey. Yeah. He, uh, uh, Leslie's cousins, uh, Cedric. Mm-hmm. He works at Hawaii Voice mm-hmm. in fucking Oahu uh-huh. or oh, Waikiki or whatever it is. Okay. Like, he's the manager there. Oh, like shit. That, like, he runs that bitch. <laughs> okay. Yo, it's like, he walks in, he's like, my fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> he, in, he got his big-ass benigno the tat. tattoo on his stomach. <laughs> yeah, tattoo on yeah. his stomach. Got the fucking, like, just sicker. Uh, sicker. Sweet. I don't even know yes, what I'm saying. Uh, right now. Super sick fade. Like, <laughs> yo, and then he got his stash. And then... Yo, you go into Hawaii Voice, and it's like all her cousins, mm-hmm. Wesley, Junior. Shout out all the homies, all the Benignos. But they be going in, and I'm think like there's some like they're they're pretty G. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> I'm not trying to throw shade on you, homies, but just letting them know like yeah. they're G. Oh yeah, and you see how G they are, but then they get on the mic yeah. and Smooth. they're singing like fucking angels, like love songs and shit. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And she's like. They said they, they fuck with the karaoke. <laughs> so I, 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 karaoke, karaoke. I, I read an article that you know the um the whole serenading to the window. I heard it 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 actually began in the Philippines. Did some, it really? Yeah, some guy who was in love with his girlfriend, and the only talent that he had because he wasn't as good looking as this other guy <laughs> that was, you know, jockeying for the yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. He's he like, has some I can talents. play the good fucking guitar and I can sing, and he sang to her. But I'm sure every culture. Right. Says that same thing. Yeah. Rob, but tell me this, though. Tell me you haven't seen time and time again ugly ass motherfuckers just getting like 11. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True. Like, yo, like Very you look at the floor and you're like, that fool definitely doesn't have a big He dick. must okay. be nice. He must be a <laughs> really nice guy. He does, definitely doesn't have that BD. I'm going to tell you this right now. God nah. doesn't bless you with everything, <laughs> man. Yeah, you guys are going to be really good looking and untalented or very talented and ugly as yeah. fool. Yeah, yeah. It, it's one or the other, bro. It 100%. doesn't happen a lot. If you are, you're have a fucking unicorn. Bless him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. God damn. <laughs> you're but blessed, my G, if you're I, that person. I think... With the whole music thing, with my brother, I think we just we we grew up playing music together, mm-hmm. you know. So it was only natural for us to be like, "Hey, if somebody needs music, 
We'll fucking do yeah. it. But would you guys be beefing though at any point? Be like, I would. You're not doing this right or nothing. Or would you just figure it out together because you're brothers? So I think we. You know, I think I. I do check my brother sometimes mm-hmm. when he's like when he's, let's say we practice something right in a certain way, and then during a practice he tries it a different way. I'll be like, well, you have to do it the way we've practiced right. it or mm-hmm. something like that, right? But we were raised to where like. You know, my dad always said, who's your best friend? You know, like he would be like, your best friend is your brother. And I think for me, at least, we we will have tiffs. But after we check it, it's done. Yeah, that's right. it is what it is. Yeah. Well, you're also your brothers. 100%. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and for you can have a, a sister and all that shit. But like, I know I have a brother. I love my brother. He's a dick, but he, <laughs> I love my brother. Like at the same time, you know. So it's just like, hey, f- you know, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> and, he'd you be like, and he'd be like, fuck you. And I'd be like, cool, cool, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, and it's exactly. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> right. but it is with. I mean, with our sister as well. You know, because growing up, my sister and my brother. Oh my god. Oh man. My my you parents would go at it. Oh yeah. man, cat. All the so my parents would be like cats and dogs. That's what cats they are. Dogs, yeah. Cats and dogs, right? And the only pe- the only person they would listen to is me, because when we were growing up, I, I kind of raised them. You know, my dad and my mom would go to work, and the the head of the household was me at the time before they got home. Mm-hmm. But and what's the year difference between all three of you? So my brother and I are six years apart. Okay. My brother and my sister are like five or six. Five, five or six. Yeah. yeah. Oh damn! So you got yeah. gaps. Solid Pretty gaps. gaps. Yeah. The whole theory yeah. was. So you you're go to school. Years older than your fucking other sister. Yes, I am. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. the whole theory was you go to school when you graduate, you pay for Nico's schooling, and then when he graduates, he pays for Naya's schooling. But that's not. How yeah. it worked yeah. out. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That was the whole yeah. theory. That was ideal. <laughs> ideal, right? But um, no, like they would fight. My parents would call me. Oh, can you talk to these two? They're fighting like cats and dogs again. Blah blah blah. But when my brother moved away, it was like all my sister was looking for was my bro, you know. Like they fight, they argue, but at the end of the day, it's like they, yeah, they get you over know, it. Yeah. yeah, they got over it. I think I was just overprotective because like my sister was one of those, you know, she was the youngest and she was a girl. She would fucking, you know, just run away for like hours. And I'm like, shit, she's my responsibility. Like, where the hell am I going to fucking like, where am I going to find this chick? She would come back at like 6 p.m. I'm like, you're supposed to be in fucking bed already. Like, <laughs> and I'm getting busted, but you know, but whatever. you're looking out for her in a sense. Yeah. You're really what you're doing is you're like being protective. Exactly. You're like, Hey, what the fuck? Like exactly. I got your back. But yep. at the same time, why the fuck are you not? Yeah. Like, why are you not hooking me up? Exactly. I'm hooking you up. <laughs> and she's like, but I know I got you. you exactly. She's like, I know you got me kind of thing. Yeah. Damn. That's it's, scandy. It's rough. It's not, rough. not scandy, but like. That's tight though, I th- because I, you have that it's that sibling love that mm-hmm. nobody will really understand. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have a close connection now when you guys talk uh, oh, on the yeah. phone or whatever? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah, even when we go back, I'm like, I try to like scold her here and there. You know, she's like still doing whatever she wants, but she's like, all right, she'll listen to me nowadays. But like, we kind of like just, I don't know. It's not as intimate as you would think, but like when we see each other, I mean, like. Was she like 18, 19 now? She's 21. 21? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Makes my brother 33, so. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. She, she's wiling right yeah. now. She's on that 21, too. She's, she's going out, buying some fucking White Claws. Shout out White Claw. She's like, <laughs> we're going to have one party. And I'm like, okay. One party. Like, yeah. I'm like, all right, all right. Like, as long as we're invited. Like, when we went back, she invited all her friends. I was like, bro, shit. Damn, I'm old. Dude, I, you're not even old. I'm but 26, like and I'm like, shit, bro. I remember doing this. Well, like, compared to them, yeah. yeah, they're over here at a Puna, probably getting <laughs> <laughs> that. Yep, cool bay. Like, fuck, bro. bro. What are we gonna do today, dude? When we fucking, uh, when we were getting, uh, the week we got married, mm-hmm. and we went to Hapuna to fucking go meet our DJ. Yep, and we met our DJ. And where we were at on the beach, it was hella funny. As I was sitting there, and you know the lifeguard towers. You know we're fucking like, all right, yeah. get away from the lifeguard tower. Uh-huh. And I'm in my thirties. I'm like, all right, we're gonna go fucking oh, get away shit. from the lifeguard drink. tower. Chill. Yeah. Like have a couple drinks. Uh-huh. We have a fucking hydro flask. Yep. Pour the drinks in the hydro flask. <laughs> like hella low key. You yeah. Know, like, like put Trying it over. Trying to be here. sneaky. Yeah. Hella sneaky. Uh-huh. 
But then right next to us, this fucking, it was like senior cut day or some shit. And there's these fucking kids right next to us. Bottle of Crown Royal. Yep. Not even fucking hiding it. Just taking shots, smoking bowls and shit. And we're just like looking at them like, damn. Like, Stein- what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah Steinies. Steinoggers. no Heineken. problem, bro. And it was like, should we just like, obviously they're, they're not getting caught right now. Like, <laughs> we should just follow their lead. Right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yo, the Hapuna shit is ridiculous. Yeah. Anything goes in Hawaii. I mean, as long as you offer the guys like some drinks, I think they're cool with it. For the most part. Because they're doing that, you know. And that's no hate. Shout out to everybody on Hawaii. You're yep, all killing yep, it. Yep. <laughs> on Big Island specifically. Um, yeah, yeah. Do your thing, Pippin. So, uh, actually, I'm probably, probably going to have to go after you. But, um, so tell me, Andre, tell me about the show. I mean, because for me, you know, having you guys on was a really big, a, kind of a big deal for me because I wanted to make sure that leading into the show, you know, when I had Through the Roots on, I was talking about them playing at the music box. Right. They were about to go on tour. They were probably a couple of weeks out of tour, and now they're about to end their tour. They're yes. a couple of weeks out from ending their tour now. Yes. So um, I think when they go on t- usually when they go on tour, they always want to have a, the ending of their tour at a hometown show. Okay. And um, But they're like, going to Hawaii after this. It's like the, ma- like the end of their domestic. Yes. Okay. But I, I, I don't know if it's part of their tour. When they when they go to Hawaii, okay. Um, but like I said, they've we've been invited to jam this with them for the last like three or four years, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I mean I don't remember. They could have been doing it longer, you know, finishing th- their tours here in San Diego. Yeah, but it's always sick. It's always hype. It's always lit. Um, obviously hometown band, you hometown know, vibes, hometown, hometown vibes. Like the homies are here. Yes, exactly. One hundred percent. This is a homie show. Yes. Yes. And every time we've played with them. Uh, it's always been a bigger venue, um, the Observatory, which is yes. bigger than Music Box, and it's but always music been. Music Box is so sick, though. It, I love Music Box. Dude. It's a newer venue. It's. I'm not saying it's in the in a bad way, but I, I think the term that comes to mind is it's more modern, more clean. It definitely has a different vibe because I I've seen. Ukla the Mock there. Yes. <laughs> and that by far was one of the best shows I've ever seen. But you got to go up, up. and that because you can go past the stage. Yep. The terrace. And look over. Yep. It gives it a whole different vibe yeah. because yeah. you're overlooking the band. Right. Right above them as opposed to being in the crowd. Yes. Looking yes. up at them. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It is it's a cooler vibe. It's different circulation. And I think um there's a misconception because it's it is in uh in Little Italy versus um, North Park Observatory is in North That's Park. True. Yeah. Little Italy is in. I mean, uh, it's music. almost like downtown though. Is it still almost. Little Italy? It's like it is Little Italy. Yeah, okay. I, I would consider Little Italy. Um, I think the people, you know, for me when I first went there, I was like, oh, this is can be kind of bougie, you know. Yeah. But it's actually I, I like it. It's a cool I spot. Like it a lot uh, the sound is new, like I said, and everything is more new, and they they take care of you there. Everything is really nice. We've definitely partied there. Yeah, We've had it's some yeah good times. for show. Sure. We've definitely had some good times. It uh, that was actually about your your mo or not your mohawk, your mullet, your mullet. mullet. <laughs> your mullet was so g that night when I see we were at the Leilani Wolfgram show see. recently. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh. And that was fucking. Uh, was I there too? Dude, yeah. Yes, you were. What the fuck? <laughs> I have a video of you. Both. No, yeah. we no, went no, to no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. we went to um. <laughs> Yeah. We went to the uh, yeah, Island like, Vibes, hey, hey, hey. the Island Vibes Fest, yes. remember? Yeah, and yeah, it was the, after the, party. No, the Poke Festival. Dude. No, Island Vibes, bro. Island Vibes. Island Vibes at Qualcomm. Bro. Oh, that's yeah. right. You that's guys right. That's showed right. up. It was you, Tommy, and Nico, yeah. and maybe Connor. like a couple. Oh, it Connor. Connor. Yeah. We were all chilling, and then all of a sudden, the we door opened, and all you guys walked in, and the whole vibe changed. <laughs> <laughs> it went from like chilling. And like we're in the back room, we're with Leilani mm-hmm. and the Flomads and whatever. I we're remember. all back here I doing remember. it, and it's like, oh, this is cool. But then you guys walked yeah, in from zero to one hundred like, real quick, ah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have, like I have video of you separately, and I have video of you separately. Nico yeah. fucking was just like, yeah, he's like, we oh, hit the phone. Ah. He's like, he's like, oh fake, yeah, he's I like cross fake over. dribbling and crossover, like <laughs> doing like the, the fucking Millie Wop. Oh like, my yo, yo, god, yo, like, Millie, Millie Rock, sorry. And, fucking, and then fucking at the same time, Andres over here flapping his fucking mullet around like it was. Ah. yes sir yes sir dude I, I you know I, i'm kind of hesitant to talk about the mullet because i'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut it 
What? I'm going to cut it's it. It's an end of Did an you, era. Wait, whoa, what? Yeah. Why? It's too hot, man. And it's too, so much to maintain. I had my long hair, and I it, it just brings back memories of me maintaining my long hair, and it's just yeah. too much. Dude, I'm not going to lie. When you walked in and I saw how trimmed your beard was, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> is going Who on is right this now? Guy? Yeah, like, is that Nico? <laughs> dude, I seriously... I don't think I've I've seen you with that your beard that short in like years. Years. No. It's been years since I've had it this short. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to clean up um, a little bit for the show. For Saturday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude. OK. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to just step out for a second. Here. No worries. Uh, but I'm going to leave you with the subject. I want you to explain a little bit for the people is, uh, you know, does this show mean a little bit more to you? Is there a little bit more in the future? Are you trying to take Brothers Galvez in a different direction? OK. Stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, because that's that's honestly what I want to know. Because I mean, dude, you're s- both of you are so talented Thank in the you, way that you, you sing. You harmonize. Thank you, brother. I mean, if you guys have seen the Instagram live that we just did, I mean, fuck, it's so good. Go I'm gonna check post em, it. Go. I'm gonna post it to my tile on both pages and make sure that people remember this shit. And Let's like, do it. What you're doing. Bro, I've been seeing you doing it for almost 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. What the Historic. fuck? Like, what? W- are you going to try to pursue it? Or are you just going to do s- architecture? Like, you know, right. with both y'all. Yeah. So I think uh, for me, I you know, going to the 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 music industry, it was, it was hard because you, you have to consider um, the money, finances. And it, it's hard to pay bills when you're doing music unless Mm -hmm. you know you take it to another level right um i think for now as we do it it's all about just you know keeping you sane keeping us sane uh we do it for fun and obviously the extra cash is amazing we get offers for private shows you know shows like this it's important because we've been doing it with the, with the boys for a while now, and it's always fun to jam with through the roots right. and the the homies. Um, but I don't know. I guess we've never got into that conversation of taking it to the next level. I think for now it's just enjoying it as it is and not really thinking about it to that extent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for and sure. um, I think we'll we'll have music in our lives forever, and it'll keep us happy. But like I said, at the end of the day, we're thinking about, you know, finances and paying bills and stuff. Sure. What about you, Nix? I oh, know. I feel like uh, we both just, we grew up with it. I, all of us have, you know, and it's a passion. And it's nothing we ever thought that we would make a profession or make it into something that we're going to try to generate money from. Because at that point, then it's not a passion, you know, like right. then we're going to get kind of over it and sick of it because if you're trying to do something that you love to make money from it, it's, it, it makes, it, it, it right? makes it yeah, the, the, the whole dynamic and it, you're not going to enjoy it anymore. This is true. I, I agree with that, but y'all are so talented. Like, <laughs> and there's so many, there's so many avenues. I feel like now that, you guys could literally, for lack of a better term, put out a mixtape. Yeah. Oh, for sure. To kind of just still putting shit out right. and letting people hear your original music. Because you guys cover songs so well. Yeah. But then when you do original music, too, it's still so good because you have that harmony. Right. You have the lyrics. Yeah. I've, I've, heard, you, I've heard you do it. <laughs> I, I, I fucking, I know you can yeah. do it. So <clears throat> I love, but at the same time, when I go to your shows over the years, mm-hmm. regardless if it's original music or not, the way you do covers, mm-hmm. like, dude, when you do Bob Marley covers, yeah. oh, fuck, which, uh, waiting, waiting, waiting in, in vain. vain. Bro, well, I'm not get, even going to lie. That's one of my favorite songs I've ever seen performed live. Well, you, you're going to get your early uh, Christmas present on Saturday then. <laughs> bro, I'm glad you recognize <laughs> that. That's one of your best songs. I swear to God, bro, from the first time I heard you play that, I was like, I'm not even, I'm not gay. And if you're gay, that's totally fine. <laughs> but like, I looked up at you and I was like, dude, if I was a chick right now. Damn. Fuck, my God. I'm not even oh, lying. I, oh, cr- that's, what it, that's what it is. You know, like on the real though, yeah. like, we get, damn, son, you serenade. We get a lot of um, people when, when we, we ask, you know, on uh, social media, w- what songs should we do next? We get a few people that say, you should write originals, blah, 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 you know. 
And I, 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 I see that part where people are like, oh, I want to hear original song. In in my mind, there's so much beautiful music out there that when when we do covers, it's going to be totally different from the way the original song went. You know what I mean? And I, I hope that we portray it differently. And so I just want to learn how to portray a song respectfully before trying to butcher and write a quote original unquote right and like i i want to i want to be better musicians before we think that we're good enough to write an original i think i i i, I want to respect the whole process first is what i guess what i'm saying okay um but there you know like i mean if you step back and think about it there's some great music that's been covered throughout time i mean ub40 Probably the greatest cover band, in, you know. What I mean, in history. You know what I mean? Like they've taken songs and made it their own, and they're, when they hear it, they're like, "Oh, that's a UB40 song." But really, it's not. It's, not, it's a cover. It's a cover. <laughs> yeah. You know, and red, I red think. Red wine. I mean. Yeah, I think it. If, red, as, red wine is a great song. As a musician, yeah, UB40. Yep. You need to be. <laughs> you need to be, really respectful before you say, "Oh, I'm good enough to just write my own songs." You know. Well, I mean, that's just me, though. You know. Dude, I mean, well, hey, Joe. By Jimi Hendrix is mm -hmm. a cover from Bob Dylan. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, one of the best songs I've ever heard Jimi Hendrix sing was a cover. I did not know that. Yeah, not a lot until, of people. And I was until I was way older. It's and it's funny. This dude Ryan, who I work with, he constantly plays covers of songs that are just like amazing classics, like either a Michael Jackson song yep. or like mm -hmm. a Beatles song. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, yo, <laughs> hey, hey, you're disrespecting the track right now. <laughs> but then he played a song the other day. I, I played some song the other day, and mm -hmm. it was a cover. And I didn't even realize it because uh, I just called liked you that version of it. And he's like, hey, <laughs> hey, is this song not a cover? See and what I was I'm like, saying? Yeah, a lot of us don't. I stood corrected hella hard. I was like, fuck. Yeah. We're, too, we're, too, we're too young to know. A lot of songs yeah. are actually covers. I hella knew it was a cover, though. That was the thing. Uh, I was like, I've been giving him shit the whole time, and I, and I knew well. I knew goddamn well it was a cover. I was like, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <laughs> shit. But regardless of that, does it, uh, how many original songs does Brothers Galvez uh, have? So we, I think we have a few that are like, in the work yeah you know we've actually never played mm -hmm. an original song really yeah never ever ever Whoa. yeah man Damn. yeah and i you know we, we all we get it that's one of the the things that we but get you into. perfect your songs that's Here's, the thing for me yeah this is you can even ask my brother you can ask tommy yep. you can ask anybody that jammed with with me i'm like mm -hmm. you you want to move forward and we can't even play this song 10 times the right, we can't even play a song three times correctly. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need to respect the process. You need, okay. it, it, regarding anything, I feel like in order to think that you're good enough to write an original, you need to take a song, any song you love, and see if you can play it three times in a row. Start to finish. Start to finish yeah. as good as it can be. Okay. It's fucking hard. It's really hard. And some people think, you know, like with, with reggae, it's simple because it's one drop. It's a skank. Fucking hard. Yeah. Really hard. You need, I, for me, the, in my opinion, respect the process. And then when you are really good enough and you, you get the respect, then maybe we can step up right. and write a song. But you guys at the beginning of this, before we even do this, and what people will hear on like in their ears, yes. like you guys, like, -la 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 -la. <laughs> like, you guys were in unison. Yes, sir. Yeah. That, that's yeah, a Fiji know, song. That's a Fiji song. It's mm -hmm. called Naughty Girl. Naughty Girl. Um, we grew up listening to Fiji's a, 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 a hometown legend, obviously in Hawaii. Safe. Icon. Icon. Uh, he's you know one of our you know mo motivational uh, mm -hmm. artists that mm -hmm. we listen to and look up to. Um, every day. Is that one of Loco Bradas? Loco Bradas. You know what? We don't know him on a personal level. We've met him a few times, yep, quite yep. a few times. Um, Apparently, he's from Fiji. That's why he he's is from Fiji. Fiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. So not a Loco Bradas. It's a triangle of Pol yeah. Polynesia, you know? Yeah. I mean? Love is love, right? See, si, see. Si. Um, but we've been, I've been listening to that guy since, I mean, I remember moving to Hawaii from the Philippines and hearing his music, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I was like, this is sh the shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I mean, 
I've switched up my genre. You know, we've go through those phases mm-hmm. where it's like emo music or rock music yeah, or yeah. hyphy music. Yeah. It all comes down to <laughs> super divine. You know, yeah. Super divine. Yeah. I like we I can never stop going back to it. You know, it's it's a beautiful thing. Dude, I I will say when we go to Hawaii, there's one thing that I can always appreciate is the reggae. I mean, honestly, I think we went back this last time and there was only maybe like one reggae channel, but <laughs> there was I mean, dude, I'm talking like t- close to 10 years. Like the first time Leslie ever took me back home mm-hmm. to like meet the family. Mm-hmm. All there was was reggae. What, there was there was two reggae stations, and there was one reggae station that was just playing some fucking like Irie, Irie. jams. <laughs> I mean, bro, <laughs> there was this fucking Native band, FM, uh, KWXX, yeah, maybe the Na- Native Hawaiian, Native, Native, yeah, Native, yeah, Native that might have been Native. They played fucking um, Silent Drive by. Uh, God, I Same can't remember drive. this band. It was from like a Japanese reggae band where like apparently this chick oh, had like, like red. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I don't remember. Uh, silent and heavy or slow and heavy or something. I like know that. which. I know what I, you're I, talking about. With this. She's this. like they're they they're from like Oahu, but the girl's like Japanese. Oh, okay, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, bro. I remember driving on Kauai High mm-hmm. back up towards Ahu Aloha uh-huh. from fucking like down in the like uh Puko, yeah. uh-huh. and. High as fuck, <laughs> so late, and it's like Leslie was driving me. I was all lit up. I, don't, yeah. I was probably with her friends or whatever, just getting all turned. Uh-huh. And she was like, "I'm sober. I'll drive you." And it's, it's like my first trip or whatever in Hawaii, and we're driving back, and the song comes on. I'm just like, and that girl from who's Japanese uh-huh. from Oahu, she's like, she just comes in, she's like, uh, and then it just goes like, <laughs> da, 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 and like just. I was all, yo, turn this, this up, sick. window down, Kauai High, going towards Ahuloa, just fucking loving it. Yep. Dude, like, this is the vibe. Yep. This is, and people think, if you're from anywhere in the United States, they mm-hmm. think Hawaii is like Waikiki. Right. All over the place. Cities. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Bullshit. Yep. And it's absolute bullshit. Mm-hmm. And you, like, real Hawaii is going on Kauai High towards the countryside, yep. going through Waimea, and then going up into Ahualoa, yeah. where it's like Honaka'a. Yeah. And there's fuck two lane town, and then it's maybe a couple blocks, and it's just country. Yeah. If I mean, if you go anywhere, uh, thankfully, on the Big Island right now, it's still not as developed yeah. as. Oahu. There's some mm-hmm. kind of law where you're not supposed to be able to like develop over like ten stories, or something like that. But I like that law. No, it's, no it's, strip clubs. No, you know, it's very bucolic and rustic. Yeah, and then, then uh, thankfully that's how Kona still is. I mean, on the Big Island in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but the vibe, you know, it, it goes along with the music. You know, mm-hmm. it's Dude. we're very laid back. You know, I mean, obviously when we. Freaking go to uh, Laverne's, Lulu's, as it was formerly <laughs> known, and Oceans. I mean, there's DJs that turn, uh, you know, put on some, you know, late top, you know, the latest yeah, tracks, yeah, top yeah. 40s or whatever, you know. Yeah. And we, you know, we groove, we dance and everything. But at the end of the day, when you're going to work, coming home from work, chilling at home, drinking beers, you're playing reggae music. Yeah, Dude, Leslie told me <clears throat> there were so many songs that she played. That she thought were only reggae songs. And then when she came to the mainland. Yeah. Country. She would hear the regular song. Yeah. And she was like, oh, shit. This is a, this like, the original. This is, like, this is yeah. the original or something like that. <laughs> and I was just like tripping. Oh like, what God. the mm-hmm. fuck? Like, really? Yeah. But at the same time, I that also being said, UB40, because you just <laughs> she yeah. brought that up. I remember growing up thinking like UB40 was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. You know, like and then, British guy. Then, yeah, and then Leslie, I remember going to Hawaii for like one of the, you know, over the course of the last 10 years. And she was like, I fucking love UB40. And I was uh-huh. like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I was like the red, red wine guy. Yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck? But then I started hearing all the other shit they played yep. and I was all, okay, I get it. Yeah. These They're are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sick. See, but that's the, that's what I'm saying. It's, an artist can write a song and it'd be amazing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then another artist take that same exact song and be like, hey, can I play this song my way? I don't want to disrespect you, mm-hmm. but I'm going to play it my way. And then everyone hears the two different songs. They're like, wait, who wrote this song? Mm-hmm. Because it sounds so different and the way they portray it is right. so differently. Yeah. Yeah. That's the respect I have with the music. You know what I mean? Like, If an artist that I respect sings and writes a song and portrays it one way, I'm like, Damn, it's so good. 
I want to sing that song too, but I want to tell my story this right. way, right? Put with your, the same lyrics. Your steam on it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that from from the get go is going to create like empathy for people because when they hear the song, they're like, oh, I know that song. That's yeah. my jam. Yeah. But then you sing it a certain way and they're like, oh, this is my jam. Yeah. yeah. It's in a certain way, you know, yeah. and they're going to be like, oh, shit. Dude, it gets even more country the more islands like you get, you go down like. Oh yeah, uh, mm-hmm. South Coast, like mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. but not even like on the Big Island, like Maui. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, Maui's country. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, same, same. dude. Maui, yeah. super country, <laughs> yeah, bro. Same. Like, yeah, I bet at the same time. I mean, before I even ever met Leslie, my first skate trip ever mm-hmm. was to Hawaii. Oh really? really? Yeah. What island? Oahu. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the dude we stayed with, uh, shout out Gerald Webb, if you ever listen to this, he fucking uh, he was from Mililani. Okay. Oh, yeah, so okay. we went to Mililani and he had like his parents live there. Super fucking nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, super Hawaii vibe. They're yeah. Like, hey, we got a fridge out there. And <laughs> you just open it. It has Hawaiian sun, some water, whatever. <laughs> yeah. you just, just like, just stocked. The yeah. Ice. That's yep. just what they had. Uh-huh. It didn't even matter. They go to the store, they always would just be picking it up. Yep. Like, yo, yep. boom, right there. So it's like, if the main fridge didn't have it, outside. Outside, yeah. It. Boom. You always got to have two fridges. Outside, in Hawaii. outside fridge in Hawaii. Or the freezer, whichever. Oh, yeah. Because when you go hunting, you got to. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Or the fish. <laughs> the yep. fish. Yep. The fish. <laughs> or, the or the ice. Bro. Usually, yeah. well, when we were, when I was growing up, it was the ice. So they would take the old um, milk cartons or the juice cartons. Yeah. Fill it up with water, close it, put it in a freezer. Mm-hmm. When it froze, it was a you rip the box open. It was a block of ice. You break it so you don't have to break buy ice from the store. The store. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Coolers. <laughs> you talk about it, when I was growing up. It's Savvy. completely not like not the fridge, but on the same kind of thing is that all the cousins at my we would have to go over to my grandma's house. Like, oh, you want school? You want money for school clothes this year? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to go to your grandma's house this summer. Work for four hours a day. Okay. All summer. Yeah. And basically, like, fix up her house. Yeah. Do, do chores. Do, do, do chores. chores. Yeah. Hey, fuck. Sweep the floor. Yeah. Mow the lawn. lawn fucking uh grandma needs to fucking take that plan out <laughs> and so like you just give me this uh, big like dude i remember being like i had to have been maybe 10 11 and just take a fucking uh like a, a shovel and it, dig something out digging dig, something dig a fucking plan <laughs> out talk about finding roots just like boom like, what, what the fuck why is it so thick at the bottom yeah it's like ah. Just, ah. yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. breaking at it and then you pull it out and it's like grandma I pulled it out alright cool and then she just pulls another one I'm yeah. like what the fuck like, <laughs> I just spent time taking this out right. now you want to do one like, I want something fuck? else dude yeah like come on grandma Jesus what the hell Christ. but that was I love that that yeah. was that's why I for me personally I appreciated what I considered the Hawaiian culture but as I've developed as I've gone over time it's mm-hmm. not just Hawaiian culture it's no, more it's Filipino no, I think it's it's a blend. It's, it's, it's a blend. It's a blend. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think respect is. I wish. <laughs> I think respect is not really culture. Of, it, it, Might as well call. The, it's the way we're George raised. George Clooney you know? over here. <laughs> it's the way we're it's raised, so and if there's if it's there's respect, the in, it's not really a culture. Everybody can f- understand what respect yeah. is. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I agree it, with that. In, in this day and age, uh, you know, ethnically you can be Hawaiian. Being us being Filipino, Portuguese, born in Hawaii, y- technically we're not by blood Hawaiian, mm-hmm. yeah. but the way we're raised in certain ways, like aloha, having respect. I mean, we growing up from elementary in Kaakai, we had every Wednesday and Friday Hawaiian class, you know? Yep. Yeah. We Did had you to guys like learn how to speak it? We, yeah. They, they would you, teach yeah. us words, yeah. yeah. For sure. And then we had to learn hula. And it's required. we also did like arts, like making inomono which is like a relish made from the kukui nut yep. that they would top onto their poke is the best shout out <laughs> the best poke <laughs> hawaiian poke you would uh they, you would have to teach the the what is that called the the hawaiian games it's like the olympics yeah of yeah ulu maika the spear freaking. throwing Shit, what everything. was the other one there's a couple but my favorite one was where you would take the kukui nut which is the candle nut it's and you would rub it so you hole, made a hole at, at the, the top, top put a toothpick and then you put a toothpick with a blue gelled Elmer's glue uh-huh, and then you spin it like and then you would top. turn what? it into a top. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Is There's so much what? like little crafty things that you do like that they took away as we got older. Like we, you know, why did they take it away? Because they thought of it as non-useful yeah. in, in our, you know, in our terms of education. Yeah. 
but it's preserving a culture. Right. Exactly. But so with us being fuck? immigrants or children of immigrants, but being taught the culture, we're not blood, but we're still host a capsule of history within us. Yep. We're taught this thing. So wait, right of there. Of being Hawaiian. Right there. Even though I know you guys were born in the Philippines and mm-hmm. like, you were born in Hawaii, but you went to the Learned, Philippines. Came yeah, back. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Even on this, I feel like this resonates with almost what today's day and age. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. What's going on in the mainland is that even as natives of Hawaii, mm-hmm. you were still immigrants from Philippi- uh, the Phili- from the Philippines. Yeah, yep. yeah. And you were learning things that were because Hawaii is almost like. Disconnected it's, from the it's a, from everything it's the else. most so desolate the culture. It's the most desolate place in like Earth, I think. On well, Earth, yeah. it's like in the middle, but in the of middle the of the ocean. Pacific. Yeah, yeah. So you already have your culture there, and then it's the fiftieth state. But yeah, it's the fiftieth state in the middle of the Quote fucking unquote, ocean. Yeah. yeah, and then at the same time, you're having the same problems that people are having here. Oh, one hundred percent. Immigrants mm-hmm. coming to the yeah. island, yep. and yeah. Then, but they're telling you, oh, like no, you don't need to learn this. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? That's, That's so crazy. Well, the it's uh, it's not i don't think it's the 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 people who are teaching it's choice yeah. i think it's the it's the big it's the powers it's the that be yeah. 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 yeah you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah 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 and the the old the for me the older i get the more i'm like i see i see where the whole concept is coming from you know right. with the whole like you know the the world fucking caving in on itself right. you know it's like yeah we need to fucking be better, you know? We need to work together. Dude, but see, I, I, on that point, too, I have to agree. I mean, bro, that's 100% why I think I've stayed with Leslie as long as I have, just in general, mm-hmm. and decided to make her my life partner at the same time. Why I loved Hawaii so much. Because when you really go out there and really understand Hawaii, mm-hmm. not just Oahu, Waikiki, yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. When you go out, Ahualoa, mm-hmm. fucking Waimea, wherever you go on the big island you look up just i mean from the first moment you look at the stars mm-hmm. there's no light pollution no nope. yeah. it's pretty you amazing fucking, huh? you can see everything pretty amazing you can hear yeah. everything. every you can hear everything yeah. it's beautiful it's beautiful yeah. and it's everything's so lush and everything's so green mm-hmm. and there's so many uh waterfalls yep. like yep. uh other places that you can go yep. the place yeah. mm-hmm. you know and it's just, Fuck, I mean, you can't even go to the place anymore. They've, like, cut that shit off. Yeah. yeah. I, I got They're to preserving. go. Yeah, yeah. I got to go before when it was still there yeah. mm-hmm. to really be able to understand that yep. and under, uh, understand what it is to live a simpler life, mm-hmm. but then also understand the beauty of life. Right. Yep. That is such. That's why when they do when they do cut off those, you know, like, when Entrances. we were growing up and, they, you know, we were able to access it. When they do cut it off, mm-hmm. I'm just like. Uh, it's you know they're doing it for a reason you know because right. there's some spots that we used to go to growing up that people have exploited on YouTube oh, and Facebook for sure. Instagram yeah. it's, it's, it, it blows it up and then it just ruins it for everybody else right. if yeah. they decide to cut it off it's for a fucking reason, reason yeah. you know because it's getting ruined yeah they want to preserve it 100% just yeah. let it grow for a bit and maybe when we stop fucking destroying it yeah. you know then mm-hmm. they'll let us back in right it's interesting though i mean for specifically the place, I mean, I don't, you know, nobody knows where that's at unless you're from there. So <laughs> it's fine. But uh, that specific place, I mean, as a dude, I'm not going to try to front like, yo, I'm a Howley, like, yo, straight up. I'm from the mainland, whatever. But when I went there, I twisted a J and we had beers. And I remember just being there. You have to like go over these rocks and you go and there's like this beautiful waterfall. Right? Yes. And you fucking you have, there's like swings and there's all these things. I remember just sitting there thinking, like, I feel so blessed yeah. to be able to see, this, experience this, experience yeah. this, to to be able to be in this moment because this is never gonna happen again. Yep. And and since then, over the years that mm-hmm. we've gone back, they were like, oh, you can't even go there no more. Yeah. Because it's, it's like private land crazy. now, mm-hmm. and like whatever, you can't walk across the, the 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 things. And to to be able to know that we had that moment and like, yo, we respected it. Like we didn't leave no fucking beer cans. Yep. I no smoked trash. a J down there. Yep. I fucking took the back. fucking, yeah, yep. I took everything out there. Dude, I don't even litter outside. I'll yeah. go smoke a joint outside. Mm-hmm. Bring it back. back. Bring the crot, the crutch, crutch. and boom. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, put it in the trash. Lead yeah. by example, bro. Dude, Lead by example. it's yeah. 100% because 
people is respect the Ina. Yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. It's our don't, mother. Don't yeah. fucking leave your shit yeah. here, yeah. bro. Especially when you're, I love that because you have that, that mentality on the Island because yo, you're on a fucking Island. island. Resources are slim. Yo, you, know? you can't be leaving trash out, bro. Yeah. But because we have such a big fucking land here, mm-hmm. people are like, it's fine. Somebody yeah. else. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's, become- that's the wrong way of uh, thinking, you know? Yeah. And uh, it, I don't think it's only Hawaii that does that. But like when I talk to somebody new, I'm always like, you know, it's different the way we grew up, you know. And I, I don't mean this in an offensive way or a different way. Like I'm not I'm not any better than anybody else, you know. Mm-hmm. But growing up in Hawaii, the way they teach us, like growing up, um, having to take um, only what we Hawaiian needed. cultural yeah. classes and, you know, their what they did in the past, you know, it was a beautiful thing, you know, mm-hmm. the, even the way, let's say you, I, I use this as an example all the mm-hmm. time. Let's say you're skipping class. Somebody sees you skipping class. They can be like, Andre, where are you going? Does your mom know you're doing this? Oh, damn. They're just oh, like, 100%. Oh, yo. <laughs> 100%, man. They're like flexing on you. A. Hey, 100%. Hey. You better yeah. go back to school. Yeah. 100%. Or, or, is, or, 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 or if we, even if we went like diving, to go spear fishing or fishing in general, if you're doing something like taking more than you needed, yeah, or doing something like selfish, you know, like no, like you put don't that do that. Yeah, put it back. Yeah. You're shooting more than you, or you're taking more than you need. Like, don't do that. Don't be selfish. You yeah. know, like, you're think not gonna of, eat all that food. Hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. like, why are you skipping on class? Your mom is fucking working hard. You know, paying for that. W- paying for it. Like, don't do that, dude. You're. Yeah. Making her look bad or making yeah. us yeah. look bad. It's all about the, yeah. the last Respect, name. Yeah. yeah. Respecting your dude. last name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, dude. I love that. Oh, I love I it though. I love that, that. Yeah, now that I'm old now, like I'm washing dishes and I'm like, uh-huh. I'm glad I'm I got thankful, time. Yeah. thankful yeah. for that because yeah. I enjoy washing dishes. Yeah. I enjoy cleaning my house. Mm-hmm. You know, I yeah. enjoy having a clean house. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Dude, throw on some tunes, maybe smoke a little dude. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't bother me. Yeah. This is my time I'm cleaning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. relax. Yeah. I need to make my house a home. Hundred percent. Right? <laughs> you, you feel me? Well, fuck, guys, dude. I think. I mean, we could obviously go on for days, but like, <laughs> we've done. We've just hit hour and a half. Oh, oh damn! Dang. That yeah. felt like thirty super minutes. Fast. fast, super fast, that was super quick. I know we've touched on it, but for one more time, for the people, tell them where they could find you this Saturday. In general. Okay. At what so time? They this can Saturday. Find you? This this Saturday. This Saturday. <laughs> the brothers Galvez are performing. No, this Saturday, music box, November second. Doors open at seven. Sideways music goes on first. We go on at eight forty. Performing till nine ten. So we only got a half an hour to make you guys what? <laughs> and then slide Splish. right in there. <laughs> and slide and slide and slip in the slide. Yeah. So make sure you guys come check us out. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram. I mean, wherever you find us, we got tickets mm-hmm. to sell. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fucking sick show. It's, it's going to be a sick show. Who's it with? It's with Pacific, Pacific Dub, Dub and Through the Roots. Through the Roots. All and right, don't forget, that's... Sideways Music. Upcoming, you know, that everyone's there to make noise. Yep. You know, and it's good music. We got tickets. You guys come in. Look good. Only good-looking people invited. So <laughs> shit, everybody. you know what I'm saying? You guys ugly, coming. Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm no, just kidding. no, no. I'm just kidding. If you ugly, you can come too. It's fine. <laughs> hey, I'm, uh, hey, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going too. So, hey. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, y'all. Are you all all welcome? Um, but yes, at seven o'clock, the doors open. Music box. Mm. You can see the brothers Galvez. They're gonna be second. Yes, sir. second yep. with Pacific Dub with Through the Roots. Yes, sir. Shout out Evan and Brady. Uh, yeah, they were on the show earlier. Excuse you. And screw uh, screw. <laughs> baby on baby on baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, and where can the people find you? Give me the Instagram handles real quick. So the Instagram handle is. <laughs> I don't think I even know what the Instagram handle the is. Br- the Bros Galvez. Bros Gal- one word. Galvez. All one word. Yes. Bros Galvez. B R O S G A L V E Z. Yep. Ja. Yep. And so you can connect. find us there or you can find us the Bros Galvez on Facebook as well, mm-hmm. right? Yep. 
Bros well, we guys. We have a website too. We have a well. website as yeah. well. But shout obviously, out to Tommy. Yeah, obviously, shout, out. Tree shout out Tommy active. right now. Shout, shout out, out Tommy Manai. <laughs> <laughs> the, obviously, the hottest things to contact us uh, on is um, Instagram and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yep. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to buy tickets, just hit us up on Instagram and we got you. Yes. And if you want to be serenaded, come and see yeah. my brothers right here this hey. Saturday <sighs> again. Yes. Because you know you're going to find Caffeine and Green there. Yeah. And that's yeah. really what it is. Shout yep. out to the Roots. Shout yep. out Brothers Galvez. Andre, Nico, shout out Seven C, shout out Thorn Street, everybody yeah. who made tonight possible. Thank you so much. Hey, shout out, shout out Kano about it. Hey, shout out Kano. Shit happen, no, 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 no. Hey, my, my brothers, my brothers, Andre. You guys want to see him do a tray flip right now there on screen? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Nico, my G. All right, all right, y'all. See you this Saturday. Yeah. Right. Peace. <laughs>